welcome to my much anticipated bookshelf tour. Finally, this has definitely been my most requested video since I started this channel. As I said before, my bookshelves are finally organized the way that I want them to be, pretty much. I mean, it could always be a little bit better, but you know, whatever. So today is going to be part one of probably part four. Yeah, because there's that many books. Me personally, I have about almost 400, I think. So today's tour is going to be based on my first bookshelf, which is all of my paranormal, dystopian, sci-fi, fantasy bookshelf. And then the next one will be all of my contemporary-ish bookshelf. Then I have a humor-ish bookshelf and then I have an adult-ish. I say ish for all of them because they're, that's generally what they are, but then there's always a little bit of a, something that probably shouldn't be in there. So who knows? Anywho, let's just jump right into my bookshelf tour. Part one. Yeah. So before I get started, also, I just want to do a quick, like, viewing of, I guess, what the bookshelves look like from back here. I don't know. So there's the bookshelves that I'll be showing you. This one right here is the one that we'll be going through today. Ta-da! And of course, we have another bookshelf over here. And as I said, we have one back there behind the table and then another in the bedroom, so... It's going to be a long one. So this is my first shelf. Ta-da! It goes all the way over there. Oh yeah. Okay, so, so on my first shelf, starting on this side, I have the Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey, which I just got. So I have not read it yet. Next, I have Under the Never Sky by Veronica Rossi. Then I have Divergent by Veronica Roth which is, of course, one of my all-time favorite books. Amazing, 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 amazing. And if you look just up here, because I'm currently reading this, I have Insurgent, also by Veronica Roth. Uh, the dust jacket isn't on it because I take my dust jackets off when I read them, so I'm just keeping that up top. Next up is The Maze Runner by James Dashner, which is another book that I really, really, really enjoyed. If you haven't read it, I definitely recommend that one as well. And then I have The Scorched Trials by James Dashner, which is the second in the Maze Runner series. And then I have The Death Cure, which is the third. I do not own The Kill Order, which is a prequel to the series, so whatever. Next up, I have Cinder by Marissa Meyer. Of course, another one of my favorite books. Love, 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 love. And then next to that, I have Scarlet by Marissa Meyer, which is the second book in the Lunar Chronicles, which is also wonderful. Then I have The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. And of course, The Hunger Games is my all-time favorite book. It's probably my favorite series. I feel like a lot of people have that same, that same feeling as I do. Next to that is Catching Fire by Suzanne Collins, which is the second book in the Hunger Games trilogy. And then the third book, which is Mockingjay. I'm a little bit sad, of course, because my Hunger Games is paperback and doesn't line up with the rest, but what you gonna do? Next up, I have Beautiful Creatures by Kimmy Garcia and Margaret Stoll, the first in the Caster Chronicles series. Uh, I really enjoyed this book. I actually really, really enjoyed it, but I felt like as the series went on, it kind of got a little worse and worse. Anyways, then I have Beautiful Darkness, which is the second book in the Castor Chronicles. Beautiful Chaos, which is the third. And then finally, Beautiful Redemption, which is the fourth and final book in the Castor Chronicles series. And then next up, I have... City of Ashes by Cassandra Clare, which is the second book in the Mortal Instrument series. This one was okay. I also have City of Bones, but I just can't seem to find it anywhere, so that's not going to be in this bookshelf tour. And next up, I have City of Glass, which is the third book in the Mortal Instrument series. I have not read this one yet, but I'm planning on reading this book next, so I'm excited to keep going in that series. Then I have Clockwork Angel, which is the first in the Infernal Devices series, which is a prequel to the Mortal Instruments, of course. And then I have Clockwork Prince, which is the second book in the Infernal Devices series. And then finally, I have Clockwork Princess, also by Cassandra Clare, which is the third book in the Infernal Devices series, or trilogy, I guess. So that is my first shelf. Pretty cool. I feel like I'm kind of rushing through this, but 
It has to be done or else it's going to take forever. So now it is time for my second shelf. So this is the second shelf. Ta-da! Here's a full view of it. Beautiful, I know. So first off on this shelf, I just have this displayed. It's a tiny book of tiny stories, uh, which I love by Hit Record and Joseph Gordon-Levitt. It's amazing. You should definitely check it out if you haven't already. First book on this shelf I have is Matched by Ali Condi, which I have not read yet. I'm missing Crossed, which is the second book in this trilogy. And then I have also Reached. Kande, kande, kande. And then I have Wake by Amanda Hawking. I also have not read this book. I'm not going to lie, there's a ton of books on here that I haven't read. So please don't judge me. But I have a problem with buying books, obviously. So I haven't read a lot of them. So I'm hoping to get to that one soon. Who knows? Next, I have... Delirium by Lauren Oliver, which is the first in a trilogy. I have not read this one yet either. I'm going to wait until I buy Pandemonium and Requiem before I start that series. Then I have Entwined by Heather Dixon, which is another one with a beautiful cover, but I have not read. Next up is Splintered by A.G. Howard, which is a fairy tale retelling of Alice in Wonderland from, I guess it's not so much a retelling, but it's more like in the future, her granddaughter or something like that. Next up, I have Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. Also have not read this one, but I've heard really amazing things about it. Next, I have The Program by Suzanne Young. Uh, this is an advanced reader's copy, and it was a... Uh, Amazing. So if you haven't read this one yet, you definitely should. It was so good. So good. So good. Get in there. What the heck? Next up, I have The Selection by Kira Cass. Another one that I have not read yet, and I am waiting to buy Elite before I read this one. And then I think that there's a third one coming out as well, so... Who knows when I'll start that. Then I have Uglies by Scott Westerfeld. And I have not started this series yet either. So I have Uglies, Pretties, Specials, and then the companion novel, which is Extras. I have not started that one yet. But I know Jessica from Price's Wong says it's one of her favorites. So I feel like I'll like it too if she likes it. Twinsies. Next up, I have... Gone by Michael Grant, and this is another series that I haven't started. I have three more. I'm not sure if these are in the right order. I don't think they are, but I have Gone, Hunger, Lies, and Plague. So I have four of them, but I think, I want to say there's like six. If not, then there's like five, but I haven't started this series yet either, only because these books are huge. Look at that. They're all big. So I have to be really committed to start that series. Next up, I have Obsidian, and this is by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I hadn't really heard a lot about this series until uh, Kat from Katie Tastic or Katie Tastic or however you say it read it, and um, also Lexi Reviews, and they basically said that don't let the crappy cover fool you. It's an amazing book, so I had to buy it because I trust their opinions, and I'm really looking forward to reading it. This one I might actually read soon. Freaking get in there. That's what she said. <laughs> Next book is Warm Bodies by Isaac Marion. I friggin' loved this book. I love the book. I love the movie. Fantastic. If you haven't read it, definitely check it out. I mean, it's, it's a really quick read. It's only small. And if you don't already love zombies, you definitely will after you read this one. Man, I really packed them in here. Next up, I have Shatter Me by Tahara Mafi. Uh, I haven't read this one yet, but I am planning on reading this one this month. I knew that once I finished it, I would immediately need to read the next one. So I also have Unravel Me. I wish that the covers look the same. And then the last book on this shelf is Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn, or Gillian Flynn, however you want to pronounce it, or however she wants you to pronounce it. I don't really know. And now we are on to the third shelf. Woohoo! So this is the third shelf overview. Ta-da! This shelf is my vampire shelf. So on here for decoration, I have my little tiger-striped piggy bank, which... I got some mad coin in. Not really though, it's probably like three bucks. So the first book on this shelf, I mean you can't have vampire books without some, some Twilight action. So this is my special edition of Twilight, which 
my brother got me for Christmas. It's in this cool casing and there's like a ribbon and then this picture's on the actual book as well. And then I have regular edition of Twilight. And then next up I have New Moon, my only paperback of the series that I have, which kind of sucks. Maybe someday I'll pick it up in hardcover just so they all match. Then I have Eclipse, which is the third book in the series. And then I have Breaking Dawn, which is the fourth book, which is the worst one of the series. Then I have Vampire Academy by Rochelle Mead, which is coming out into a movie soon, so I really need to get on this. So then I also have Frostbite, which is the second book. I'm missing the third one, which is Shadow Kiss, I think. Then there's Blood Promise, Spirit Bound, and the final one, which is The Last Sacrifice. So I have all of them, but the third one. So I might have to order that one, but I'm really excited to start that one. Once again, I think this is one that I'll be reading in the fall because, I don't know, Halloween vampires make sense. So the next on this shelf, I have The Immortal Rules by Julie Kagawa. And once again, I'll probably try and read this in the fall. And I also need to get the second one, which is The Eternity Cure. Okay, then down here is my Suki Stackhouse or Sackhouse or Stackhouse or whatever uh, series. So, whoops. These are not in order, but these are the ones that I have. Dead Until Dark, which unfortunately is the only one that I have in a different cover because I, I haven't been able to find it in the regular covers yet. I have Dead and Gone. I have Living Dead in Dallas. From Dead to Worse. All Together Dead. Dead to the World. Oh no. Then I have Definitely Dead. Then I have Club Dead. Then I have Dead as a Doornail. World again, apparently. I decided to buy two copies of that one. Did I ever say Living Dead in Dallas too? I'm gonna lose it. Uh-oh. Alrighty, so then I also have another copy of Living Dead in Dallas. Maybe I'll do a giveaway with those two books because I already have them both. Dead Reckoning, and I have Dead in the Family. So I'm just missing a few. I think I'm only missing like maybe three. I don't know. Oh, I fell. So now we're on to the fourth shelf. So here is an overview of what it looks like. Fancy stuff. So the first book on this bookshelf is The Tiger's Curse by Colleen Hook or Hawk or whatever. All I know is that this book is gorgeous and I love it. No, this isn't happening. Hi, I want to be in so good to you. Okay, no, say hi. Hi. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. No. All right, that's enough. Next up on the shelf, I have I Am Number Four by Pitticus Lore. I have not read this one yet either. Then I have The Raven Boys by Maggie Stiefvater, which I've heard really good things about as well. Then I have The Host by Stephanie Meyer. I read this one a few years ago. And I thought it was okay. I didn't think it was anything extra special like a lot of people did. I haven't even seen the movie yet, but what ifs. I have A Great and Terrible Beauty by Libba Bray. And then I have Rebel Angels. And the final book in the series, which is The Sweet Far Thing. Next I have Of Poseidon by Anna Banks, which is another one that I just bought. Then I have Wither by Lauren DeStefano. And there's two more books in this trilogy, which I don't own, so I won't read it until I own all three. Then I have Wake, which is by Lisa McMahon. Also two more books in this trilogy that I don't own yet, which are Gone and Fade, so once I get those, I'll read that one. Then I have The Farm by Emily McKay, which looks really good. I think I might like to read this one soon. Then I have Fallen by Lauren Kate. Then I have Inside Out by Maria V. Snyder and ah, as well as Outside In. So I don't know why I haven't read these ones yet, actually. I thought I was going to a few months ago, but I just never got around to it. So maybe I'll read those soon. I've been saying that about like every book though. Then I have Ready Player One by Ernest Cline. This is one that I'm actually really excited to start reading because everyone that's read it has really enjoyed it. And I feel like I'm so behind on the times because I haven't read it yet. So that one's pretty new. Next up I have the Summoning by Kelly Armstrong, The Awakening, and The Reckoning. I have not read these ones yet. To be honest, I don't even know what they're about. Then I have The Calling by Kelly Armstrong, which is another one that I got for like 
a couple of bucks. So this is the only one in this series that I have. Then I have Jekyll Loves Hyde by Beth Fantasky. Then I have Hysteria by Megan Miranda. Then I have The Blessed or The Blessed, I'm not really sure, by Tonya Hurley. I've heard really mixed things about this, so I'm not super eager to read it, but look how gorgeous this cover is. I can't even get over it. It's so pretty. I have The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern which I bought like a week ago for $2. So that's that shelf. So this is the last shelf on this bookshelf. So here's an overview. Ta -da, ta -da. Okay, that's enough of that. So the first book on this bookshelf is Confessions of an Ugly Stepsister by Gregory McGuire. I don't know, I saw this and I was like, ooh, fairy tale retelling, and I thought it sounds super interesting, but it's one of those books that I'm probably gonna read, like, I don't know, a few years from now. I'm not overly, like, eager to read it, but I thought it would be pretty interesting. And then from that same author, kind of same idea, I got Wicked, My Soul to Save by Rachel Vincent. Wicked Lovely by Melissa Marr. And then from this same series, I also have Ink Exchange and Fragile Eternity. So there's five books in this series and I only have three. But I'm, I'm finding them at random like used bookstores and stuff, so eventually I'll have that whole series. Then I have Parallel by Lauren Miller, which is a book I won in a Goodreads giveaway. And I've been meaning to read it for so long and yet keep putting it off. And I think that's because I feel like I have to read it. And I don't want to feel like I have to read anything. I want to read what I want to read, so. I don't know. Next up, I have Essence by Mandy Lynn, which is written by a fellow booktuber. So I was sent this for review, so I should probably put this up higher on my shelf because I would like to read this one probably within the next month. Next up, Jessica's Guide to Dating on the Dark Side, which is by Beth Fantasky, who is also the author of Jekyll Loves Hyde, which was on the other shelf. Then I have Swoon by Nina Malkin. I know nothing of this book, except that the cover is kind of cool and pretty colors. Then I have Shade by Jerry Smith Reddy, and this is part of, I'm not sure if it's a series or a trilogy, but I'd like to get the rest of the books in the series before I, I pick this one up. But I've heard good things, so I'm pretty excited about it. Things are gonna go to hell right now. Oh. Then I have The Brain Thief by Alexander Jaklovkov. Then I have Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone by J.K. Rowling. I, funny story, I bought this book because Jeff, has this exact coffee copy but his pages are falling out and I couldn't find mine so I was like well I'm like I'll just buy this new one and as soon as I bought it I found my other one which is exactly like this and I also have one which is Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone which is the UK version so whatever now we have like four or five actually five copies of this exact book. Then I have Shiver by Maggie Stiefvater, which is the first in the Mer Wolves of Mercy Fall series, which I only own the first book, so I won't read that until I get the other two, but I picked this one up for like two bucks. And then also by Maggie Stiefvater, I have Ballad. Then I have The Iron King by Julie Kagawa, who is also the author of The Immortal Rules. And I also have the companion novel, which is Iron Legends. Next, I have another series, which is The City of Ember first of the Book of Ember. So there's that one. I also have People of Sparks, which is the second one. Then I have The Prophet of Yonwood, the fourth book, which is The Diamond of Darkhold. I also have Inkheart. These are all getting like blocked, but anyways. Inkheart by Cornelia Funk or Funk or Funke. And then I also have Ink Spell by the same author, and I'm missing Ink Death. Over here in the last section, I have Dragon Rider by Cornelia Funk, which is also the author of the Ink Heart series. Then I have The Vampire Diaries, The Awakening, and The Struggle by L.J. Smith, as well as The Vampire Diaries, The Fury, and Dark Reunion. I don't even know which books of the series these are, but I got them because they were like a buck each. So I'm gonna start collecting those ones as well. Then I have Thirst, book one by Christopher Pike, which is a series about vampires. Then I have book two, Thirst, book two, and then I have book three. So there's those. I got these ones for free, so. Then I have the Hush Hush series, which is by Becca Fitzpatrick. So I have Hush Hush, 
Crescendo, Silence, Finale. So I have all four books in that series as well. Finally, da, 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 I have book one of The Fallen, which is by Thomas E. Snygoski. Weird name. And then I also have book two. So these are about angels. And so I think Hush Hush is also about angels as well. Okay, so that was my first bookshelf part one of part four of my bookshelf tour series. And once again, this was paranormal, sci-fi, dystopian, fantasy-ish books. So the next shelf that I will have coming to you is going to be my contemporary-ish books. So stay tuned for that because that one will be coming up very soon. I'm actually gonna go film it right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know if you did. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe. And I hope to see you guys again soon. Bye. I'm waiting for the